Hello, Americans. Hello, friends, subscribers around the world. Back again, man. Today, I showed the box because we're kind of it's kind of hard to get the whole thing in frame, but we're going to unbox this. This is a uh, TST e-scooter. E-scooter, and it's a compact, like a full, like man. This box is probably uh, I don't know, maybe a quarter of the size of. The box the other ones came in, so I'm it's pretty much, excited. It's a much about smaller it. bike. Oh. And uh, there was on that side damage. A, a little bit of damage. I don't know if you could see that there in the. Should video. I cut this box? Um, no, let's just go ahead and pop it up and see. Good glue going on there, don't they? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, I got the corner ripped up. Oh, my side went, my corner was a lot stiffer, yeah, huh? I, I even got it going for you. I don't know about that. We should have cut the box. But I got this trusty Brad knife. Oh, whoa, you're getting crazy. Okay, let's go. Oh, dang, man, look that girl go. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, they need some good yes, glue. Okay. All right. Well, it's oh. not a. I would cut cute little pump. mini pump oh, nice. right on the top. Dang, dude, look at the size. Little foot pump. <laughs> oh, you can't oh, pull it so out. Cute. That tire's like 14 okay. inch, I think. Another. That's box. Tools and stuff yeah. Here is it. I would whip mine out, but I don't carry oh, mine in my pocket. <laughs> my Brad knife. Yeah, we got instructions. That's always good. Always good. And it looks like a miscellaneous parts. Oh, that's a toolkit. Oh, nice. Nice oh, little nice. toolkit and a little pouch. Pedals. Pedals. Yep, the rest Boy. of it's just parts. I don't want right, to, they smaller parts, so I'll set them out on the table over there. This with is, the uh, instructions. I was hoping that all you had to do is we pulled it out and it was all folded up. Yeah. But definitely so, some assembly required. Nice, Ooh, nice, padding. nice padding. It is white. I'm going to uh, lift it out. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Whoops, got a hole? Man, they, I'll tell you what. Look at those in there, good. That's why it's getting held up. I think it's the tire right there. Getting held up on the box. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't know what that there is for. Oh, the stuff tucked down. We've got the seat. So that straight out of the box. It's a pretty good packing job. Got the handlebars zip tied to it. I think, I think we'll move over to the table. the table and I'll cut these bands off and we'll start putting this thing together. Look at that, how that seat goes right yeah. there. It's pretty cool. This, uh, boy, this is a little brother. It is. Is it a fold? It's fold up, man. Yeah, that's what I thought. But for, man, I was thinking when they, you know, was talking about sending this, I thought, well, dude, that'll be great in, like, the green bean or the exploder for, uh, Any up doing the back seat of fish fences. A car. Man, well, uh, it's going to be pretty cool. So let's get over there. So one thing that, uh. Cutting this all apart. One thing that I'm thinking, it's going to be hard to keep my grandkids off this one. <laughs> the other one, oh, you're too, you're too small for that. This one, man, it's pretty cool. Cute little fender. <laughs> Shoot, that thing is just cute as all get up. Yeah. Okay. 
I think I do. Oh. I love the kickstand. Uh, I'll have to bring that over and show it. It's kind of an off-white. It's pretty. Pretty little thing. Yes. Okay, well, he's doing that. I'm pulling out the instructions and the tools. So it has a, um, a list here of everything included. So in the tool pack that we found right away. Can turn that camera that way a little bit? Oh, no, it's okay. You're good. You can um, it, shows, okay. it shows that we should have a charger. Got the charger. Uh, four end wrenches. You can see all the way to the table. We've got four end wrenches. Four end wrenches. It says on here that I need three Allen wrenches, and in the tool kit, there's only two. So I looked through the cardboard box to see if maybe one had slid out of the pack. I don't see it. So I'll figure that out and make sure we got the right tools here to put together. Um, two fenders, a small and a big those. Uh, two pedals, got the two pedals. Uh, the tire that he just unzip tied from the bike itself. And the seat. I can't really see the seat there either. And a pump. It doesn't say a pump on here. No. But we did get a pump in the box. Okay, number one, lower the kickstand. He's already done mm -hmm. that. Number two, we want to put on, let's see, oh, I think that's just showing you the picture of the kickstand. Uh, front wheel assembly is step number two. <clears throat> so you will need, and it doesn't say in the in the package, but we've got a little baggie here. It's got locking washers and some bolts there. And then this one I've got a long bolt, a locking washer, and a nut. And that seat that's on the uh, front you, axle must be, that must just be to hold it abrasive because... Or, yeah, because that's not that's, the working part of it. That's not part of the axle. Yeah, okay. got, got a locking nut. Yeah. It says to remove, step one, remove the front wheel guard, it, which is showing the bolt and nuts that came on the package. I'm going to put my hand down there. Okay. This, this. Got to watch the brake and then I'm guessing one goes between the... I know, I think that washer goes on the but one washer goes on the back side. Just you gotta tighten with that. Yep. Probably 13. Oh no, 14. Maybe 15. 15. Okay, did you put the tire on the correct way? Yep. It says um, that you want it to go this way, but there's an arrow. The tire arrow direction should go forward. This way. Okay. Watch front tire flying off. No, Holy smokes, man. Kind of okay, so next is the um, handlebar assembly, and you need to lift this part here first. And then we tighten this nut. Oh, Whoop, we've got to tighten whoops. that nut for, oh, first. Oh, really? Do not over tighten. It says, do not, you want to hold that? Yeah, hold that. Okay. And then snap the folding handle into place, insert the wires into the stem, and place the handlebar into the stem hole. 
here to the side, right? Tuck those, yep, down in. And as he's putting the handlebars in, he's aligning the holes. Yeah, but it's not. I'm aligning the hole, but we're going to have to adjust the, adjust the... Down here? Yeah. Okay. We can probably do that. We can probably put the... Yeah, that's probably the next steps. Let's see. I'm just going to jump ahead to make sure... Well, we I can adjust it. We tried to make it straight, but it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it is. Okay. Okay, so, so now we need the little screws. Small ones? Yep. Align the six screws with washers into the screw holes. Does it say blue? No. It's got blue on it. Six. It's on that. Yeah. Well, it's probably Loctite. I don't know what that is. Okay, next. Okay, that one is the one that goes. But. So he's got them all the um, bolts aligned in the holes? I'm gonna have to get another. And that is the one that was missing. Allen wrench. So he's gonna go. Did you check the uh, box and everything. Allen wrench. I did. The bottom of the box. I did. Four millimeter Allen wrench. Now he's um, loosened the. Yeah, no, I don't understand. The elbow here. There. It's not going. No, dude. It's this. Handlebar. Oh, I bet you that it's wrong. But I bet you that, uh. Right there, straight? Yeah, but this thing, I think it's supposed to be on the front. I think that this is all wrong. No, that's pretty straight. Maybe that, that thing don't twist. Maybe it freaking goes like that. No, no. Because this, this, uh. Maybe it goes cockeyed. Look at the picture. Wait. Yeah, it's showing here that it's a little off center. Okay. So. Okay, so he's got the handlebars aligned with the tire um, by opening it up and tightening, loosening and tightening and adjusting that Allen nut that's underneath there. Okay, so we got that set. And he rotated the safety hook. Um, to hook in the folding handles, yep. and that was right here, this little ring right here, locks it into the um, locker there. Now we do our pedals, and each pedal is Should marked right. Yep, right on the tip of the mounting bolt. Uh, the lighting's pretty bad, but it's right there. This is the right side, and you've got the left. Yep. Next is a fender assembly. We'll do the front fender first. That'll be the smaller fender. Use your three millimeter Allen wrench and an eight millimeter open end wrench to remove the screws. Place the front fender, then tighten the screws and washer. Smell a skunk in the air. Tis the season. Okay, front tire front's on. Back one, I like the back one. Well, the back one, or the front one was a little, getting it adjusted off of the tire was a little. Yeah, looks good. Looks good, man. Looks good. Maybe you never watch it. Okay, so we got the fenders on. Last but not least is the seat. No, it's just the standard. Nothing different or, or fancy about it. Nope, Gotta make sure because if you don't get this. Then you sit down and then it slides in. Yeah. Okay. I want these things for uh, when you really, it's kind of hard to clamp it. Yeah. There you go. 
Oh, holy smokes. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so this is the e-bike CHYC14. Is that what we said earlier? Nah, we just said it was the TST e-bike. That's the brand. Okay, so the next... Do you have to charge it before yep, you... Yep, the next thing is to show how to charge it. Um, there is a port on the left hand side. Okay, so there is a port on the left hand side. Right here, a nice little weather guard. I'm going to bring out the EBL. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a two part charger. Plug it in. Okay, so if you plug it into the wall, the light is green on the battery pack, battery charger here. As soon as you plug it in, it turns red. It turns red. After charging, the indicator light will turn from red to green. So correct. As soon as that red light there goes back to green, then it will be charged. So we're going to go ahead and let this charge. <coughs> Do not attempt to jump off or on your bike. Do not attempt any stunts or tricks. Do not ride the bike in dark or poorly lit areas. That's got a lot, man. Do not ride the bike near or over potholes, cracks, or uneven pavement. Uh-oh. Do not operate your bike off-road. It's going off-road. Sorry. We're going to be testing that one We out. are off-road. <laughs> <laughs> anywhere around, anywhere I go off this creek bottom is off-road. Okay. And Katie, you've got your phone handy. Yeah. Could you give me an equivalent of 100 kilograms of this after it's charged? 220 pounds. Um, 20 do pounds. not exceed 200. 100 kg. Um, that is equivalent to oh. 220 pounds. Oh, really? So Just the about maxing it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try it still. My grandkids will sure like it. Okay, no, nah, I'm 200 pounds, so I'm all right. Okay, we'll be back as soon as that battery is charged. Sure, and then we'll show how it folds up, and we'll show the electronics on it, and then it does have a light right here, does too. Does it fold right there, too? Well, that's the handlebars. That's yeah. the handle, yeah. Goes oh, down. So you can wow, okay. pop them yeah. down, yeah. and then it folds in half. So this is what... Oh, okay. Oh, wow. That's what it's going to look like all folded. It's like, it looks like it's all smooshed. It's like pretty dang cute. I like it. All right, so we got the thing all together. I had to put some air in the tires a little bit with the little hand pump or the little, uh, I use my hands, so it's kind of like a little hand pump, it's a little foot pump. So I'm going to go over some of these things that we'll show first. I'll show you how you break it in half. Just pull this. Let me see. Oh, there it is. So it's got a little safety lever there, and then just fold it in half. And then, you know, you can drop, you can pull this other lever and drop the steering wheel. I don't think that I'd probably do that that much. And, uh, I just gotta get the spring just right. That is, uh, gonna pull that forward to do it. So that's pretty dang nifty. This is in the shade better than the sun. No, you're good. Or should I get it? Yours good? Uh, do, you want, do I want to see your face or the bike? We'll see the bike. Okay, the bike's great. <laughs> oh, show that kickstand. I love it. I love that kickstand. Cute little kickstand. <laughs> it's so cute. So, now, you know what, man, when I looked at this thing, because it was small, you know, or, I mean, it's just tiny. So I was like, wow, this thing's just tiny. And then actually, after I brought it down off the table, it probably looked pretty funny on it. But, uh, dude, this actually sits, you know, pretty crazy. And then, you know, when you're pedaling, I was thinking, man, my knees are going to be up to my chest. And actually, it's not. Not too bad. Yeah, not. And know, how tall are you? I'm um, 6'1". Yeah, and that's the max height suggestion. The 6'1"? The 6'1". That's perfect! Yeah. So let's go over. I didn't pull, I haven't pulled the film on. I haven't turned this on or anything. So 
let's get over, I'll come over here, and I'll do this. I probably should read the directions first, but I'm, then I'll go over some specs on this thing, and we'll give it a give it a whirl. So I got the little film over. Is it better in the shade, yeah. maybe? There you go. Yep. All right, so we'll pull this little film thing off. Push this button. Maybe I told it. Mm -hmm. Oh, there, there it is. All right, so. And it, oh, it's in, just good. in the um, screen, it's doing a flashy. But yeah, it's visually not, with your eyes, that's just the, the, the digital um, filming of the, it doesn't really flash. And it's got all this, oh, there's a light. The headlight. I look at the whole, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> that kind of sits in front. Yeah. I think it's got a brake light. Look at look in the back. Push the brakes. Yep, right down there. So it's got a little brake light, little yeah, headlight. Down by the pedals. Let's see what these other, oh, that's, you just hit the power button to do that. It's got things up here that maybe those are just uh, like idiot lights, like a battery and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah, and it's got Bluetooth. I'm not sure what the Bluetooth is for. It does? Looks like there's some kind of, a, right here, that icon is a Bluetooth icon. Huh. Sure Tools. about that? I'm 100%. Huh. Oh. Okay. All right, so, so let's go over some of the specs, and then I'm going to give this thing a, uh, a spin. Give this thing a whirl. It's time to change my water. All right. There's just a couple of things that I wanted to. Okay, we'll go over the specs of it. It is a model HYC14 is the model of it. On the website, this one is the F4. They is have the, the F2 F4, oh. and F4, 12 inch tire or 14 inch well, tire. Let me show you something real quick. <laughs> when I, we looked at the website when we were doing this, I think they just had scooters. Well, in they this. have. Um, the TST scooters and TST e-bikes, and I did not know that they had e-bikes because they're two separate websites. Man, and when, uh, so I was looking at the site, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. You can get a good yeah. thing of that. Yeah. That right there is the perfect, you know, for hunting and, uh, you know, my fence job that I start next week and everything. I'm going to try this thing out on that, but... Man, I did not. Did they have that on there? They have two separate websites, oh. and they offered us a scooter, yeah. so we could only I'll look at the scooter. scooter. Well, this is what they had on there. That was. This was under scooter. Mm-hmm. So this is a scooter bag. A scooter bag. <laughs> <laughs> but sorry, anyway. All right. Sorry, dude. I got sidetracked there. But you can send out one of them other ones too. <laughs> that was pretty nice. All right, so. The weight of it is 42.33 30, 42 pounds, 33 pounds. Uh, expanded size, we don't need that. Um, applicable, <laughs> age 12, 12 years old or older. Um, yeah, they got the height, maximum load. 220 pounds is what the maximum load, so I'm 200 pounds, so that's good. Mileage, um, you're supposed to be able to get 30 miles on this battery. So, on, like on my fence job and stuff, that's about perfect. I don't know, uh, they don't have it marked down like some of them do, you know, of weight, because I'm sure that depends on your weight and all that kind of stuff for how many miles you get. Let's see, charging time to charge it is six hours. It probably, and I used my uh, little box, man, it was great. But that, it only charged for probably, I don't know, hour, two hours at the max. Mm -hmm. You know, which it was, probably had a charge, you wouldn't want to ship a it without bit, a charge. Yeah. It is uh, a 36 volt disc brakes. Oh, it does have the... Connection method, Bluetooth. So what is the? Um. Well, I on the website I saw that <clears throat> somebody was holding their phone and it had like a an app. Oh no, kid! So an app on the bike. Yeah. Or so whatever. maybe you could use that to check your battery, or hmm. I mean, you wouldn't want to be looking at your phone on your app while you're riding the bike. <laughs> Why not, man? Just saying. And then uh, 14 inch tires, which are pretty little tires. Talk about the um, tire inflation because I did have. To, put uh you know inflate the tires up because they were pretty flat but it says regular inflation and cleaning 
a lot easier if I use my eyeballs. Inflation cleaning of debris on tire surface can extend the service life of the tire. When the vacuum tire height sinks 20% to 30%, it needs to be inflated. The recommended tire pressure is 45 to 50 PSI. Which that's, I was like, wow, man, that's crazy. After inflation, the tire should be inflated at least once every two to three months. All right. I think that's about all. Uh, okay. So let's. Uh, so do we want to walk it yeah, out to I'm the driveway? Yeah, I'm gonna get this thing out there and okay. see how it does. Okay, go. So I see, man, just a little bit right there. Man, you just give it a little, uh, little gas, and it goes. So now I'm gonna run down here. You probably won't. Well, I know you won't be able to because Miss Kitty ain't going to run behind me. No. Nope. But I'm going to go out here, hit the, as long as all the dogs don't follow me, I'm going to hit the pavement at the end of our road and I'll see how fast I can get it up to. Okay. And then I'll okay. Back. Okay, I'll catch you on the way, way back. All right. Okay, folks. I didn't go out on the road, so I think his back tire a little bit low. It doesn't look like it. it feels uh, a little squishy. I need to tighten the seat up a little bit. It is, man, it's good. I had it up to I don't know, 12 or 13 miles an hour. You know, you can use the gas, but the pedal assist kicks in. You want to try it? Yeah, you better try it. <laughs> Get that look off your face. You want to hit the kickstand, come get the camera? Well, I think I'm just going to go. I don't want to just go down the driveway, do I? Sure. Just go down a little bit and you can turn around. <laughs> you hear that picture? Oh, it's funny. Kind of fun, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> I just love it, man. Yeah. And I really like the um the thumb, the gas. Yeah. The thumb, um accelerate here instead of being a, a like twist. a motorcycle. Yeah. Dude, that thing is uh I'm pretty impressed, man. Not uh you know, I wasn't sure about the um man here we got it dirty, dude. I absolutely love that little thing. Okay, we got our... Oh, it's not folded. I thought you folded oh, it. Oh, no. Way. Why would I fold it? Man, when you can stick it in there. with the, Look at that. With the seat up. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I don't even have to do anything funny to get the handlebars out. Oh, did you notice it was sitting there on the kickstand with, yes, the, with the seat up? Yeah. It's kind of messy back yeah. there. But. Yeah. Okay. So, why would I do it? Like 16 miles an hour is the most I got up to. That's cruising on this one. All right, man. So thank you very much for the opportunity. Okay, I absolutely, man, appreciate the getting to try this thing out. And uh, this is amazing, man. I absolutely just love the little thing. And we'll be taking it up the mountain for further uh, further reviews. So good Lord willing. And them creeks don't rise.
back again tomorrow. See ya. See ya.